Welcome back folks to Hacking OWASP's Juice Shop. And what I want to show you today is what they call it a classic stored XSS. And let's like let's take a look at the hint that we're getting. It says perform an XSS attack with script alert XSS script on a legacy page within the application. Okay, so let's start by copying this attack payload and we'll do that right now and now the question is there's a little hint saying on a legacy page and I've actually gone ahead for the sake of making this video a little bit shorter and I searched the legacy page for you and if we go to the profile over here this is our legacy page now you might wondering why do we know that let's just quickly go back and we see that as we're using a single page application, we are, if look up here, like if we're going to a specific path, let's say the scoreboard, we actually see that the path is added after the hash character, right? So if we go to the profile, we see that this is not the case. So this is not a single page application. This is a legacy page. Okay, so let's look at this page right now. And so we have copied the payload and we are ready to use it. So let us see what we can do. And first thing that pops to my eyes is the username. So let's try setting this to test. What happens if I do that? Okay, I see that the username was printed below here underneath this little icon of a person so what if I go here and delete test and click control V and I see that I have my payload right here and I'll click on set username okay that's interesting so we do see that there was some sort of sanitization going on because it only says alert access ass. so we know for a fact that there is some sanitization in place and now we gotta try to break that sanitization and, and circumvent that security control so let's try again let's delete this piece over here fill in the payload again and let's see if it helps one thing I, I usually do and I, I like doing is I write the script tag in different characters so I use lowercase and uppercase characters so let's go ahead and say script and then I go over here and do the exact same thing so let's get rid of that and I'll just say script let me do that All right. let's see if that worked so we go and set the username to that and that did not work so let's try something else we keep going what else could we do we could for example use another script tag we could say hey wait a, wait a minute I see that the script tag is deleted so what if I just use it two times so I go ahead and say script and do the same thing over here and see what happens so I have the attack two times right all right, so let's see what happens if I do that. Sat username. That still sanitized my payload. All right, so we gotta have a more sophisticated payload to trick the system into working. Actually, we see that um, something is interesting right now. We see that the crypt was not sanitized. So, so everything but the ass and the closing tag was uh, not sanitized so that was left behind okay so let's try something different let's work with that we're going to say let's make this double and the script is going to be replaced and then we're going to say script over here I will copy that because I'm going to build my payload. Right now it has alert access only. So 
something which is interesting to me is that I see that we have some something different standing in here than, than what we see over here. So let's just open up our developer tools and use inspect to actually check out what we can find in here. And we see that if we look at this right here, that, and I always love looking right click, say out of HTML to see what is actually stored. And we see that it is crypt alert xss okay so let's go back and fire our payload in one more time so let's see what happened over here we have the alert xss that worked we have two times crypt but apparently it deleted a lot over here so let's let's do that copy this that username let's see what we get now boom that worked all right so let's click away the alert box and check out this piece down below here one more time uh, open it up and we see that we have our script alert payload or like our script tag right in here and that triggered the cross-site scripting all right, so let's check one last time what payload actually worked. It was opening tag, opening tag, script, closing tag, as script, closing tag, alert, access as, and the closing script tag. So one thing to take out of this is don't give up too fast. Like, look at developer tools, look at how the DOM is being changed um, have multiple ideas in your head how you can trick the sanitization routine. Keep in mind that the sanitization routine in the in the software on the back end is just a piece of code. So there's always a really good chance out there that you can manipulate your payload in a way to trick the sanitization routine into not working anymore. So be persistent, try out a lot of payloads, and just don't do that blindly. Just, just think about it and make a couple of assumptions and then check the output and developer tools. All right, this was it for today. We have found the cross-site scripting in the legacy page. Make sure to subscribe on the top right, and I'll see you in just a bit. Click, check out the next video.